Today is Monday, May 20th, and I'm just wondering about the strength of this year's Cowboys schedule compared to last year's. And now, a word from our title sponsor. Are all financial advisors fiduciaries? Fewer than you think, not knowing could reduce your lifestyle. Hi, I'm Mitch Kramer, founder and CEO of Fluent Financial. A fiduciary is a regulatory term to reduce conflicts of interest in wealth management. A fiduciary always works in your best interest. A non-fiduciary advisor might put their compensation or company ahead of yours. At Blunt Financial, we are certified financial planners acting as fiduciary advisors. To learn more, go to FluentFinancial.com or Fluent Financial's YouTube channel. There's been a significant development in your laundry room. Laundry detergent sheets, not dryer sheets, but the same concept. Paper thin, remarkably efficient. Just toss one into your load of clothes and voila! Sparkling clean and smelling great. And as a plus, they're hypoallergenic for those with sensitive skin. Jugs of detergent. Jugs that just wind up in trash heaps. It's easy to get your laundry detergent sheets. Just go to the link in today's podcast episode. Introducing Star Power Smart Home Solutions, where cutting-edge technology meets effortless living. Control your entire home with just a tap on your smartphone. Adjust the lights, set the perfect temperature, and ensure your home is secure, all from the palm of your hand. Star Power has the experts that will transform your house into a secure smart home. Experience the ultimate solution in comfort and security for your family. Get started at GetStarPower.com. Star Power, where innovation meets home. Before we get to the Cowboys' schedule, the Dallas-Fort Worth area is just, I think, out of their minds in sports these days. Both the Stars and the Mavericks have won two series in the playoffs, and each has advanced to the semifinals in their sport. And, and, of course, the Rangers took it all last year. They wiped out all the opponents in the schedules. And the Cowboys, the last time they advanced two rounds in the playoffs was 1996, January of 1996, 28-plus years ago, when that team was headed to a Super Bowl championship. Now, the Cowboys schedule. Trying, trying to grade a schedule is a tricky, tricky thing because some of the teams you expect to be good might be bad. And some of the teams you expect to be bad might be good. But it's not hard to assess last year's schedule. Cowboys went 12 and 5 against an extremely soft schedule. They had two games against Washington and two games against the Giants. And at the end of the year, those teams picked second in the draft and sixth in the draft. They they played an awful New England team. And New England wound up with the third pick in the draft because of how bad they were. Arizona, which the Cowboys embarrassingly lost to, finished with a record so bad they had the fourth pick in the draft. Despite the win over the Cowboys, they had the fourth pick in the draft. Then there's Carolina. They were terrible. And they would have had the number one pick in the draft had they not traded it away in a deal with Chicago Bears. The, the Chargers were such a disappointment, so bad that they finished with the fifth worst record of the league. And then the Cowboys got the Jets without Aaron Rodgers. And I put the Rams in this group because the Cowboys played the Rams before the Rams straightened out and went on a late season run. So against these teams, teams that had the number one pick in the draft, a team that they played two games against that had the number two pick, a teams that played third, fourth, and fifth worst records in the league, 
and that the sixth worst record of the league, the Cowboys played them twice, that's the Giants, and then the Jets picked 11th in draft. Dear Lord, what a set of catastrophes. And the Cowboys took full advantage of it. They were 9-1 and one against this group. Again, that awful loss to Arizona. And they beat these 10 teams by a combined, sit back, 359 points to 125. They enjoyed a 234-point advantage against the Cream Puffs. The Cowboys outscored them by 23 and a half points a game. Now, let's flip that coin over. The other games, the eight other games on the schedule, including the playoff game, the Cowboys went three and five against those good teams. They were outscored by 39 points in those eight games. And by the way, I've included in Seattle in this group of the good teams. I thought that balanced out leaving the Rams out because they were playing poorly. And by the way, this record against good teams follows a trend in Dak Prescott's career. Dak now versus winning teams, teams that ended the season with a winning record. Dak is now including the playoffs 19 and 29. Ouch. Now to this year's schedule. Yes, there's still some cream puffs on this schedule. Maybe six of them. Two games against Washington, two games against the Giants. But those limpers ought to be better. In fact, maybe a lot better than they were last year. And there is wretched Carolina on the schedule again. Why can't the Cowboys play them five times next year? And I put in this group the Saints. The Saints, I don't think are going to be bad. I'm pretty certain they're not going to be good. But I put them on this, this list. Here are the other 11 games. That's the six cream puffs. Here are the other 11 games. Contenders, two against Philly, one against Detroit, one against San Francisco, plus two others in the NFC, Atlanta and Tampa, who will battle it out for the NFC South. The AFC, they play Cleveland, Baltimore, Pittsburgh, Houston, and Cincinnati. There's no breather in that group. So the schedule looks tougher this year, and the Cowboys look weaker this year. It doesn't appear to me the Cowboys are going to go 12 and 5 again. 11 and 6? 10 and 7? 9 and 8? Looks like it's probably going to take 10 wins to get into the playoffs in the NFC. That's going to be much harder this season than the last season, when the league schedule last year handed the Cowboys 10 cream puffs. Today's episode brought to you by Fluent Financial, Retire Sooner, Better Lifestyle, and by Star Power, Love Where You Live. Just Wondering is a production of DSP Media for FanStream Sports. You can find Norm's show along with other great programming at fanstreamsports.com. Thank you for listening to today's episode. If you enjoyed it, hit follow. And every weekday, a fresh new episode of Just Wondering will be delivered right to you. And if you enjoy this podcast, please share it with a friend. Finally, should you have questions or comments, please share them with us by going to X and our address at Norm's Clubhouse. That's just wondering with Norm Hitzkus. And every day, I'll be just wondering about something. And I'm Mary Hitzkus, and I'm just wondering too.